guys, what's up and welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna check out the brand new balance changes for season 3 and more. So guys, make sure to watch the full video, and with that being said, here we go. Okay, so first things first, let's start off with the balance changes, and here we have the new signature attachment for the Man of War, which is Thermite Rounds. My question is just, why? Okay, so as we can see in the background, this thing looks super powerful, but to note, when using thermite rounds, you only get 10 rounds and you cannot penetrate through surfaces, but it's really good against score streaks and also players, as you guys can see. It is pretty much just a fully automatic thermite throwing machine. And yeah, this might break the game, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below, but yeah, it looks super OP. Anyways though, next up we have a nerf for the DRH that have reduced the headshot uh, multiplier from 1.55 to 1.5. Then we have some buffs, so we have the KN44, they have reduced the horizontal recoil. For the HBR3, the lower arm multiplier has been increased from 1 to 1.2. For the Odin, the upper arm multiplier has been increased to 1.05. For the MAC-10, the range values were improved from 7, 14, 20 to 8, 16, 20. And this is only for MP, so 1 on the 1st and 2 on the 2nd and nothing on the 3rd. The bullet speed was also increased from 300 meters per second to 440 meters per second. Then guys, we do have the QXR where the stomach multiplier has been increased to 1.1. The BSA was also improved as we can see over here, but only for MP. Then for the enhanced bolt, the range values were reworked from 10, 15, 20 to 8, 13, 22. So two less on the first, two less on the second, and two more on the third and they also reduced the ADS time by 16%. For the MX-9, the range values were increased from 11, 15, 20 to 12, 17, 22. So one on the first, two on the second, and two on the third. And they also reduced the horizontal recoil, as well as the lower arm multiplier was increased to 1.14. So, okay. Then we do have the AGR 556, a 30, a 60 round 5, a 56 mags, where they increased the lower arm multiplier from 1 to 1.1. They also reduced the ADS time penalty of the 60 round mag from 12% to 6%. Nice stuff. And they added 12% reload time penalty on the 60 round mag as well. So, yeah, okay. Next up, guys, we do have the OTS 9, but only for MP. The range was increased from 9, 18, 23 to 11. 18 23 so two on the first and that's about it and the stomach multiplier was also increased from 0 0.9 to 1.1 okay then we do have the check on where the stomach multiplier was increased uh, from 1 to 1.05 okay uh, for the dingo the bullet speed was increased from 800 meters per second to a thousand meters per second so okay Next up now we have utilities, score streaks and operator skills. So the thermite has been buffed, not surprising at all as we now have thermite rounds for the man of war. So the radius was increased uh, to 3.5 meters, the max damage was increased to 35 and the min damage was increased to 30. Is this going to be the season of thermites? Uh, I hope not and I really hope that Man of War uh, new signature attachment does kind of get nerfed before it does release. Then we do have a cluster grenade where the damage has been increased from 2030 to 2535. For the concussion grenade, the duration has been increased from 2.5 to 3 seconds. For Vulture, the health return has been increased from 20 to 30. For the Ballistic Shield, the duration was reduced from 35 seconds to 25 seconds. For the Hawk X3, the score requirement was increased from 750 to 830. For Wilson, it was actually buffed, not nerfed, it is just in red, but the fire interval has been reduced from 0.8 to 0.6 seconds. And then our final change is for the equalizer, where they reduced the damage resistance from 30% to 
percent so okay that is a bunch of balance changes some changes i like some very unnecessary changes and then just some very bizarre stuff in there as well especially the new thermite rounds for the man of war so guys definitely give me your thoughts on these changes down below in the comment section what do you like what don't you like and what are you just like kind of like why is that being changed or coming uh, to the game Anyways though, now let's check out some new features and content coming to the game as well. Okay, so over here we have a new loadout selection UI teased by the CN version of the game and this gives me heavy PC or like console Call of Duty vibes when it does come out to the loadout selection and I actually like this, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below and also note it's not coming next season, we have no release date at the moment and also I believe this might just be a concept and not the final product, so yeah, keep that that's in mind. Now back to season three, in the previous video I said we are either going to have a detective theme or we are going to be having a gangster mafia theme and since then we have received a lot of teasers and just based on all of these teasers, in my opinion, I think we are definitely going to be having a detective theme for season three which personally sounds pretty cool and refreshing to me but yeah what do you think let me know down below and now guys for our final topic of the day we do have the new mp map coming to the game which is going to be from modern warfare 2019 and that is cheshire park so cool stuff so guys, to finish off this video, what I am going to do is leave you guys with a full cinematic so you can get a better understanding of what to expect for this new map in the upcoming season. So guys, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and well, enjoy the rest of the video.